All right, I am in the uh, 2008 S550, and I'm just gonna do a quick overview of the quality condition. I uh, did talk with uh, my sales manager on this car about the service, and he said that the uh, air suspension had shown uh, zero air loss. So um, that's a really good good sign that it's uh, not going to run into problems anytime soon. And then, uh, first glance, it looks uh, very good condition for for its uh, age. So volume down there and the air down a little bit all right um, the dash looks very clean I don't really see any scratching here on the wood anywhere any uh, discoloration marks on the uh, on the lower dash anywhere or upper dash Everything looks good. Stitches still look good. There's no odor in here. Um, everything's good in that respect. Let me uh, let's see if this has a nav here. Map's working. Phone, satellite radio, <coughs> DVD player, exterior lighting. So no massaging seats on this one. All right, and then um, let's see here if I can. The odometer is seventy four, four ninety two. Uh, the uh, center center here. Here's the armrest, and uh, looks like you know it all looks very good. No discoloration. Uh, there has been a little bit of stretching here, um, but it's not creased in any way. It's just uh, the fabric has become a little bit elongated. I don't know if you can tell there where I'm moving my hand, but now there just seems like there's a little bit extra fabric there, and I'm sure that's from from an elbow, you know, sitting there. That's common, but it, it looks very good. Um, doesn't look bad whatsoever. Little nick here above the uh, phone control or behind. All that looks clean. Looks like you got an extra start stop button there. camera. That armrest looks good. Actually not sure what that does. Comfort and sport mode. Should raise the back headrests. They're not wanting to go up. I'll check into that. <coughs> oh, here's a here's the massaging seats. There's a little bit different layout here on the uh, on this year model than I'm used to. 
So you do have the uh, dynamic seats which will uh, activate to when you turn as well as your, uh, your massage which is very awesome. Um, overall looks really good. Uh, steering wheel looks very clean. Feels good. I can't feel any scratching on it anywhere. A little bit of wear here on the uh, on the volume and foam button. Not too bad though. Maybe a small nick right there above the emblem. Uh, headliner looks really good. I don't see any uh, issues on it anywhere. A little bit of red mark right there from lipstick or something. Sun sunroof working well. This would be a iPhone cable, which I don't think that's the current connection for the six. But I'm not an Apple guy myself, so I'm not sure. Here's the uh, passenger side door. Armrest looks good. Door itself looks very clean. I don't see any scratches from here on the uh, wood trim over there. Everything looks really clean considering the age. Maybe a little bit of spots on the rug down there. And we typically put plastic down, and the fact that this doesn't have plastic tells me that we didn't have it detailed, which means that this is the condition it came in from the owner, um, which is remarkable to always see that. So, uh, cup holders look really clean. Uh, cigarette lighter maybe been used once, but it's not perfectly clean. But like I said, there's no odor in here. There's no signs of smoking in the vehicle. All that looks very good. You got your CD DVD player. Looks good. Uh, here's the uh, passenger seat, and I can't see the camera screen, so hopefully. But it looks in good shape. You know, maybe a little bit of uh, creasing over there. Not terrible whatsoever. No discoloration. Looks pretty good. And then I'll get out and do the uh, exterior. And I haven't driven it yet. I'll do that right after this. Um, let's see if I can pop the hood here. Can't find the lever. I'll get out and do that. Gotta move this one. Here's the uh, driver's side door. 14 C250 black. Right here. Looks good. Looks like the uh, armrest, same deal as the center console. Uh, it looks like the fabric is stretched, but no discoloration, no cracking, no tears. A little bit of black here uh, from where the door closes. Some scratching here on the kick plate. Not bad though. Not sure why I can't find the uh, trunk release or hood release. There it is. Back seat driver's side door, a little bit of black mark there. Overall, looks good though. These seats look really good. You know, these may actually have a uh, a weight sensor, so if there's no one sitting back here, the the headrests don't go up. Um, 
I'm not honestly sure on this year model. Like I said, I'll have to check it. A little bit of black mark here. That cigarette lighter's clean. That door looks very good. Carpets look excellent. A little bit of black mark here from the shoe. And a little bit right over there. If it'll focus. And start the front, work my way around. Engine looks really clean. Headlights look really clear. You know, there's going to be some rock shipping here on the front throughout, uh, which is just going to be the case with any vehicle. I'll try to point out anything large I see with issues with it. Nothing's really popping out at me yet. I did see some scratch, scratches by the driver's side handle, but I'll get to that here in a second. Front end looks really good, though. Chrome looks good, headlights good, I don't really see any issues on the hood. Of course it's an overcast day and I'm uh, not perfect so there is possibly some little stuff I miss, hopefully nothing big though. That looks like some bird, bird mess in there too. But the front end looks good, hood looks good. This is the uh, front driver's side wheel. Maybe a small scratch right here. Other than that though, looks looks good. It does look like there's a crack here in this turn signal. Which I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it's right here. And this condensation's actually gotten inside because of it. It's bird. Um, here's a scratching I was talking about by the handle. And then, of course, pretty much any car is going to have scratching behind the handle. It's just a high usage area. Some more scratches there. Birds have been busy lately, looks like. Looks like a scratch right through here. I think you can see that right there. This will be the back driver's side wheel. Looks good. Trunk looks good. Could use a vacuum. Got some extra wheel lugs there. First aid kit. Spare tire. Looks like you got all your tools in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Auto open and close works well. Uh, trunk lid looks good. Tail lights look good. Ok. 
Okay, here's some uh, issues here on the back bumper. Okay, so that's water. Let's see if I can get that out of there. But then here looks like there had been some damage to it, and then it's been touched up. The paint's actually matched pretty well. It's just uh, imperfection in the in the bumper material left over from who knows what, but it's just not straight across there. And it's not flush with the... So, and then this is just kind of smudging from water, water spots. But that's up close and this is, you know, four feet away, so it's not bad from a distance. And On big cars like this, SUVs especially, but larger cars like this, your corners are going to be your, your biggest issue, usually on the exterior, or most likely to have a problem. It does look like there's a small ding right here, which I'm not sure if you can see the, the warping there. Jennifer, you need me to move? Okay. This is the uh, back passenger wheel. And then here's the uh, back passenger door. Looks good. Don't see any major issues with it. Overall looks clean. Again, a little bit of black here where the door closes. Nothing bad though. And there's a little bit of white here. I'm trying to think if that would... It doesn't seem to want to come off. It doesn't look like a, anything wrong with the actual body. It's the white spot. Uh, a little bit of more scratching here on the kick plate. And a little bit more black there where the door closes. A little brown spot there on the carpet. Oh, I never showed the uh, driver's seat. I'll do that real quick. And you can see on it, it's it's done the stretching too. Not really any bad creasing on it though, and overall for an 08, I mean, I think it's in really good shape as far as the seats are concerned. I mean, overall, not too shabby. And then here's the uh, front passenger side wheel. Looks good. So, <coughs> I'd say for its age, I mean, it's a, an extremely good shaped vehicle. Don't know why my camera's not wanting to focus. But uh, it's in great shape for its age. Interior's phenomenal. Exterior's very, very good. Wheels are excellent. Uh, just really that one spot in the back, a couple small scratches. Rock chips are actually on the very low side. But just that one spot on the uh, back bumper really kind of sticks out to me. And then kind of these scratches here. But not terrible. So just that right there. 
Anyhow, I will go uh, go take it for a spin real quick and then uh, upload this video and give you a call.